hello everyone welcome back to my channel merry christmas guys and a wonderful wonderful new year in advance so in today's video we're going to be recreating this lovely baby girl dress so here is my fabric i folded into two using the baby's hip measurement divided by four plus extra eight inches so i did the same for both the front and the back we have two of the pieces here both front and back pieces so from the shoulder i marked the half length and then from this midpoint i'm marking half of the shoulder measurement i went on to mark the armhole which is six inches and then i am marking the neck width which i used three inches and then i came down by half inch on the armhole side to form the shoulder slant so for the neck depth i marked three inches for the front and the width is also three inches like i mentioned and then for the back neck we are marking one inch for the depth why the width remains the same so on the armhole side i'm going to get the middle and then come in by half inch and then connect to the shoulder like so and then curve the rest using my armhole curve next i'm marking the bust measurement here divided by four plus one inch of ease and then i mark two inches for allowance here I mark the half length measurement round, divide by 4 plus 1 inch of ease, and then 2 inches for allowance. Then on this down part, I just came in by 1 inch, and then I slanted out like so. We're just going to have 1 inch of allowance on the down part. So on the lower part, I came up by 4 inches, and then I curved to the middle, as you can see. So for the length of the dress, I took out 2 inches from the actual length and then I added 1 inch for allowance. We are going to add ruffles to the lower part. So next now I am cutting as you can see. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Kindly consider subscribing as I upload sewing tutorials every single week so i took off the back piece and i cut out the front neckline only on the front piece like you can see and then here is the pocket pieces i measured seven inches and then i just used my hand to go round making it not so big since it's for a child and then i'm notching the half length point which is where the pocket is going to sit now i have this piece of fabric it is three and a half inches wide and i made it as long as possible this is what we will be using for the ruffles on the lower part the pleats on the lower the lower part sorry so i'm going to be cutting as much as possible i was working with two yards of fabric here so i had to manage whatever i have so i placed it on this piece here now to get another set of three and a half inches of width so next we're going to join all the pieces to form one long strip and then we're going to fold one end of it fold neatly so next now we're going to cut lining pieces for both the front and the back as you can see and then for the front piece i place the lining on the right side we are going to go sew the neckline using half inch for the back we are going to place the lining on the right side as well but then it's going to have an opening at the back which will be about 7 inches deep to enable the neck pass through. So we're going to go sew half inch round and then sew down 7 inches and then out in a V like that. For the pocket pieces, we're going to go sew two together leaving half inch from the top. We'll sew round using half inch and then leave half inch again on this other end. We're going to do the same for the second pocket piece. After sewing the piece, this is what we have for the pocket with the extra half inch left open. And then for the back neck, this is what we have. We're going to notch around the neckline and then cut through that V sewing. After that, we'll turn to the right side and give it a good press. And 
next we're going to go join these pieces together both the front and the back I've also notched the front neckline as you can see. So depending on how big the head of the child is, you can do less than 7 inches on the back, but 7 should be fine for any child at all. Next we're going to go join the shoulders together, lining to lining and then main fabric to main fabric, also using half inch. And then on the sides, we are going to mark the measurements again. So from the shoulder, from the shoulder, we're going to mark the half length. And then from the midpoint, I just marked quarter of the bust up here plus one inch of ease. And then the same for the opposite side. Then quarter of the half length round plus one inch of ease and then I connected then on the down part I just left out one inch for allowance so I just connected next I'm marking six inches down from the waistline that is where our pocket is going to sit so from the waist point from the half length point we're going to count five six inches down and then make a mark and then on the lower part as well, I went in by one inch and connected to the waistline. So while joining, we're going to backstitch where the half length is. So normally, and then backstitch where that six inches point is as well. After sewing, this is what we have. And I've gone ahead to loosen the space in between the half length and that six inches point. So next, we are going to place the pocket piece in between the space like so. And go so. That's after loosening that point, like so, on both sides of the allowance. So after losing, you have a crease there, so you sew as close to it as possible. You open it up like so, then sew using half inch, right sides together, on the allowance only, and then the same for the opposite side, after which your pocket piece, your pocket is ready. On the lower part, we are going to go now and pleat this strip on it right sides together all the way around you can make it as full as you want depending on the amount of fabric you have to work with so just go make the plates round the lower part right sides together after that this is what we have the pocket the pleats on the lower part this is what the dress is looking like it's so fine please give this video a like if you agree with me thank you so next we are going to be using this organza piece to cut the sleeve so i have half yard of organza here and i folded into four so on that open end i went down by three inches and then three inches in from the midpoint folded point and then i made a curve and i blended out like so next we are going to cut out that point and then since it was folded into four we need to open one end on this side Then next we are going to fold the lower part to form a casing for our elastic later on. We'll do the same for both of them. After that, I use seven inches of elastic. This is a quarter inch elastic. I made it seven inches long. And then using my safety pin and passing it through this casing that we have made. So for the length, I just let it flow with the organza, but what you should do is add about 6 inches to the actual length of the sleeve so that it puffs very well. So after passing the elastic like so, we're going to go sew using 1 inch like so, right sides together. After that, we have something like this. Now it's time to add it to the dress. So first, we'll match side seam to side seam side seam of the sleeve to the side seam of the dress so i'm using my pins to hold that in place and then we will match the shoulder of the dress to the midpoint of the sleeve after that we are going to pleat pin the sleeves as it is leaving about three inches from the shoulder where we are going to pleat the remaining excess 
into the space. So from the shoulder, just measure three inches down on both sides and then pin your sleeve to that point. And then whatever is left, you're just going to pleat the remaining into that space. After everything, we are going to go sew using half inch and then we'll repeat the same for the other sleeve and our dress is ready one last thing we'll be adding a hook and eye to the back those tiny hooks those brow hooks to the back and that's it our dress is ready thank you so much for watching you guys if you've learned anything please give this video a like if you have any questions put them in the comment section below don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe bye